What is going on you guys? Kenny Valdez back at it again with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the S2000. Yay. I've had this car for quite a bit now and I'm kind of embarrassed to say I've never really changed the oil. However, I've never really driven this car that much. So it's all right, I guess. But today that's definitely gonna change because uh, I have the oil. And I've got nothing else to do. And this car has just been sitting because I don't drive it much. So today I got time to change some oil. So let's get to it. All right. So now that we got the car jacked up, hood is propped open. Now we're gonna come down here with their 17 mil and crack that drain plug. Oh, a lot. It is not a 17 mil. All right, so here's your drain bolt right there. It's pretty much labeled where it says engine oil. So it's pretty easy. Uh, mine is a 13 mil. I don't know what you guys would be, should be the same, but 13 mil for the uh, drain bolt. All right, once you crack it loose, be sure to have your draining pan there ready to catch the old oil. Damn, this is gonna be hot. I'm a beast. Yep, she's uh she's pretty pretty chocolatey. More like dark chocolate. Yeah, well, it's time to change this oil. Alright, so once it drains all out, you're gonna wanna put your drain plug back on. Make sure you got a new washer on there. And tighten her up. I think it's like around 22 foot pound feet of torque, right around there. Um you don't want to hold the car together, so if you're doing it by hand, I mean, nice and snug should be okay. I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for that in the comment section, but I'll be alright, I promise you. Alright, once you put the drain plug back in, you want to go in and grab your oil filter right here. And don't drop your filter. Huh? Sorry. All right, guys, so I'm using a Bosch oil filter right here. I also got my full synthetic 10W30, sponsored by O'Reilly's. Not really, but O'Reilly's, if you want to sponsor with me, let me know because I buy a shit ton of you guys' products. All right, so whenever you're doing an oil change, you always want to lube up the, uh, the O-ring, just like that. So just put your finger in the oil and just loop her up you're gonna want to go on in and put your filter back on some people like to put oil in it i mean it doesn't hurt to but we'll be all right give me the blue rag Voila. you just want to hand tighten it you don't want to over tighten these things because I hate when people do that. So hand tighten just fine. Please don't over tighten these oil filters. Uh, I think I already explained it, but we're using the 10W30. We're gonna do 5.1 quarts. That's what's recommended. So that's what I'm gonna be putting in, 5.1 quarts. <laughs> Now, we just need to put a tad bit little more of oil and we should be good to go. All right, afterwards, gonna wanna give her the good old start for, let her idle for about uh, two minutes. All right, now that it's been two minutes, go ahead and turn off the car, grab a rag. Now check your fluid level. Looks like we're full. Perfecto. That concludes our oil change on the S2000. You're welcome, guys. Like as if there isn't a thousand of these videos out there already, but but you know me, just trying to weekly upload. 
All right, guys, what's going on? So it's been a couple weeks. Um, not 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 a great couple weeks, I'll tell you that. Uh, unfortunately, had the vid. Was not was not fun. But uh, we're back to it. So uh, I think I was gonna end the video there and upload, but it was a pretty boring video. So I think what I want to add to this video is that we're gonna install the uh, AP2 front bumper. So without further ado. Here is the AP2 front bumper that you guys seen last time. The grill is now on, so yeah, let's uh, let's install this thing. So here's the S2000. This thing is filthy. I gotta wash it. Probably wash it today after I throw in the bumper. But first things first, gotta pop open that hood, and it would help if I had it unlocked. So what I believe I have to remove is these up here. I think that in there, I think there's one in here. Actually, I think that stays. I think it's just these five up here. And then this one right here, one little 10 mil there. Pretty sure there's some underneath and probably if I'm correct, one up in here. Yeah, it's all the way in here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. But pretty simple, nothing too difficult. Let's go grab a 10 mil and get this bumper off. on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monolo recording. You're gonna want to gently massage it for it to come out. You don't want to pull it out directly because that's how you break the tabs. So we're not trying to do that. So version old new version and new Right, guys so the ap2 bumper is officially on um here's a better look at it still got to get the uh, emblem on the bumper but uh she looks good she looks really good out with the old and in with the new 
Now I just gotta get a lip, an AP2 rear bumper. But anyways, guys, that's probably where I'm gonna end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The next video you should probably see is me installing coilovers on this thing finally. I finally bought coilovers, just waiting for it to come in. So we'll be installing coilovers on this, hopefully an AB2 rear bumper as well. And uh, yeah, this thing is uh, one step closer to looking like the way I want it to look like. As always guys, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Uh, hit that like button, leave a comment of what you think of the AP2 uh, front bumper. What do you like, what do you guys prefer better? AP2 front bumper or AP1 bumper? Let me know. But uh, other than that guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out, peace.